Welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church uh, Singles Channel, DLBC Singles. This is Princess. I'm coming to you um, from Canada, and um, we have here Madame Deborah from France and. Um, First of all, if you are new here, you're very welcome to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We are very happy to have you. Uh, for all our subscribers, you're very welcome to, to, the, to this discussion, to this conversation where we talk about Christian relationship, to marry according to God's will, and how to prepare for a healthy and a godly Christian Homes. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to share these videos to so many people who will need the content and the discussions and the conversations that we're having on this group. We have a Facebook group which is called Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We talk open conversations without judging anybody. Okay? Without much ado, we're going to jump into our topic for today, which is simply born out of a question that has repeated itself over and over and over and over in the group. Should a man get money from his bride-to-be for the bride price? Should a man pay the bride price of a lady from her own money? Hmm. I mean, really, let's look at it. Let's be very uh, real and factual. There's no man that doesn't want his respect. It's a very interesting topic. And I would, I'd like um, you to start with what, what are your thoughts about this? Should a man collect money from his spouse to be fiancé to pay for, for her bride price? Do you think it's ideal? Over to you. Now, for those watching us from other parts of the world and who are not Africans, they, they might be uh, uh, surprised to hear that you have to pay an amount of money to get married to a lady, yeah. a Christian lady. But if you look through Bible, you will realize that uh, bride price is not, uh, is not foreign into the Bible. And it's... Uh, in the cultural settings of Africans, Africans do, uh, you pay a bride price, okay, to get married to, before you can get married to that lady that you have found and that you are interested in uh, settling down with, you have to go to the family, present yourself and pay a bride price. Uh, it's just a token, a little amount uh, sometimes it's exorbitant, but it's depending depending on the individual. If you have uh, you are financially okay, it might not be considered as a lot. But when you're not financially okay or stable, you might consider that um, what is being asked to you is so much. But we have had occasions of people who have. Uh, paid what some might consider so much, but they, cons they feel that it is worth it. Uh, the bride is worth such an amount. Now, here we're talking about someone, uh, a man that wants to get married and he doesn't have the money to pay the bride price and it's the lady that gives him the money to pay the bride price. Or, worst case scenario, getting married to someone, the person, the lady accepting to marry him without him without the man paying the bride price as, he, as if it is on credit <laughs> that when he gets the money he'll pay the bride price now and the question is should the lady accept such a proposition from the man or should she propose such to a man now if it's the man asking for such a proposition then it's it comes to the point that, that the woman has to accept if it's okay by her that she wants to be she wants um to go into a marriage without the buy price being paid personally 
I don't think it's right for a woman uh, to go into marriage without the bride price being paid because we have seen situations where people, especially those that are not Christians, that just get involved into a relationship and start having children. Many a times when the man is called upon to pay the bride price or to go and do the right thing, he starts giving excuses why he's not going to do it, mm-hmm. why he doesn't have the money and what have you. But if you have not had children with him, you have not married, then he, he knows that because he want, he, he's a target, you are just like a target, he wants to do everything to pay the bride price and get married to you uh, normally. Um, now, if it is the woman that is paying the bride price, giving him the money to go and pay her, pay the, uh, the family uh, request, it's a bit funny because... It's as if the lady is kind of desperate. It, it might give uh, the man the impression that the lady is desperate and she just wants to get married. Mm. She just wants, by all means, to be hooked to him. Mm. And there are a lot of things that happen after marriage. So what if the man just says, you even give me the money to pay the price. It's going to, be, it's going to really hurt the woman to hear that from the man. But it can happen over anger or whatever he might be so un- unhappy or something and then since he didn't pay anything mm. you didn't cost him anything you are even the one that gave him the money to pay for your own bride price mm. he, he might even use that against the woman mm. so when it's we have also seen situations where men they forget that the lady uh, accepted to marry him when he had nothing you know, and as a result, they now, uh, or they might even say that story is that you accepted to get married to me without me. That story is now, you know. But when she was taking that decision, it was a great, it was a grand step she was taking. And so, as a Christian counselor, a marriage counselor, I will not in any way advise ladies to get married on credit or to give the man the money to pay her bride price. And very few men would really uh, go a long way to always keep appreciating you for helping him to pay his bride price. Many of them, they would, you lose value of virtue or you will not be considered as, uh, he will lose respect for you to have done that. Um, that's my own opinion anyway, and that's why I feel that this thing, and we didn't see any way, any place in Bible where um, the lady um, helped the man to pay the bride price. When uh, Jacob wanted to marry uh, Rebecca, Rebecca did not go to her father to say, please reduce the number of time that uh, my, my, my husband wants to spend so that she will marry me. She didn't go negotiating it, you know. So I don't know why Christian singles uh, ladies should do that. Why? If he, he needs to, if he thinks that you're worth it, there's no, any, there's no amount of money that is enough to pay, f- to pay for something. It's just a token. Yeah. or an appreciation to the family. Mm-hmm. So whether it's 10,000, 1,000, if you're in dollars or you're in euros or you're in pounds or it's 10,000 pounds or what have you, there's no amount of money that is what a woman be. Okay? So, and going by the fact that most especially uh, in some tradition, because I've read some place, in some places, in some cultures in Africa, the women do not uh pick their husband's names so but the children will always bear the father's name so she's laying down her life um because to have for childbirth and all of that it's laying down your, your life uh, to have children so she's laying down her life for you to have children is going to be your name and all of that so i think that uh, you should be able to uh have worked enough to be able to pay uh, something to the family. And if you want to negotiate, it should be you going negotiating with the family. Quite all right. If you will have to pay a bride price that would, after the marriage, make their daughter have to 
so far. There's no need. Then she can talk to her family members and say, okay, if you're saying that we should pay this amount of money, my husband might be able to pay. But knowing fully well that if he does that in the long run, I will have to suffer because he will not have money to take care of me uh, after the marriage. And then we might have children just, just nine months after. So that's concentration. But I don't think that a sister or a lady should pay her bride price. No, I don't think that is a lady should pay her bride price or should she accept to be married on credit because the man doesn't have money. No. And if we're talking about Christian, it's faith-based and we're talking about Christian relationship here. The fact that if you have faith to pray to, to know the will of God in marriage, that same faith should be able to take you through, to be able to provide for your needs such that this is a need, the need to pay the bride price. This is a need. So God can also provide for you to be able to pay the bride price of your wife to be. Yeah, great. Thank you so much for that contribution. So um simply put, there is a lot of definition of what um bride price should be, called dowry, it could be called anything. And there is this um little defin- definition is that bride price is not a payment for women. You're not paying for the woman, you cannot quantify the life of somebody. So it's not you paying to buy that woman, but rather it is seen as a way of valuing the labor of women, the effort involved by the bride's family in raising that female child and the labor value of a woman's offspring. Okay, the payment is just a way, it's just a way of securing the rights of the husband's group over the woman's children. So this definition says that if you want to have children by this woman, you need to have paid something to, you know, to give you the rights, right? And that there is some cultures in, in Nigeria, for example, who believe that if you have not paid the bride part of that lady, if anything happens to her, then the body can actually be claimed by the family and the children can also be claimed by the family. You actually see children that are born out of well, wedlock, of course, if there is no bride price, and that means that they are not practically um, accepted. The family, both families have not accepted or have not given mm-hmm. their daughter. And they can easily make those children bear their, their last names. Because they feel that the child came from her. You didn't pay anything on her on over her head, like you know, to to endow endow her to you, like to make her your wife. So the kids can actually bear the name of the girl's father. So you have to be very careful looking at the culture where that lady is. And some cultures even because the man didn't pay her bride pride bride pride until the woman died, they will make the man pay her bride pride at death and dance around the body. That's some of the things that people people do. It's, it's a, there's some cultures I've read about a culture like that somewhere in the eastern part of Nigeria. So that's why someone has people have to be very careful. I know in other parts like in Sudan, you are allowed to to pay instrumentally, which means that you would have maybe they gave you the family to pay like hundred cows, and then you have to maybe you pay you give them like five cows or ten cows, and you're like okay, I will come and pay the remaining cows later. Okay, but you would have given something, and then with time you will work on how you're going to refund or pay back and pay up the remaining cows when you have gotten more money that happens in those kind of families if there's an agreement between both families that that is what is going to happen then okay but the bible clearly tells us even in exodus chapter 22 verse 16 to 17 i'm reading a revised version who says that if a man seduces a virgin who is not pledged to be married and sleeps with her he must pay the bride price and she shall be his wife if her father absolutely refuses to give her to him he must still pay the bride price and you can read it in the king james version the king james version says that if a man entices a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her he shall surely endow her to be his wife and if her father utterly refuse to give her to him he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins so you taking a woman and beginning to live with her as though she's your wife you must pay you owe the father something you must pay something to that family to to say that okay this is the price i want to pay for marrying this bride Right price is just something that you, a token that you give to marry a woman for all the work that her parents have. have. So I don't see any reason why. It just, it earns you respect. Even if that bright price is really heavy, I would rather that you pay a big chunk and even if you agree that, okay, sir, 
and come back in another year and pay, pay up the remaining sum. But for you to secure your respect, both in the eyes of your wife and in the sight of the family of this woman, it's in your best interest to pay the bride price. Whatever it will cost you, it's better for you to invest in the bride price. Pay the bride price, pay it as they said you should pay it. And do a minimal wedding. And get your respect, your manly, your manly respect. Get your own respect. It's no matter, take the time, save the money. It's even better for you to, to borrow that money somewhere else. Okay? And pay it, pay that bride price, rather than borrowing the money from your wife to be. You can't borrow somebody. It's just like you taking money from the owner of something. And, uh, you know, I'm going to the market to buy something. And I say, okay, you get, lent me the money. Then I pay you with it. And I take your thing. Practically taking it for free. <laughs> You're practically taking it for free. Nobody agrees to that. It doesn't make any sense. There are families where they understand and they still give a token. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a problem when it becomes a huge amount of money, like in those families where you have to give hundreds of cows and thousands of dollars or, or Af African, whatever amount it is, euros or naira or sefa, whatever prime amount it is. Maybe it's too much, huge, heavy. But if you can try, pay what you can and come back to pay the remaining. But pay something. Don't come empty-handed because if you cannot pay the bride price, then how are you able to even take care of the home? Like, for it. Is the woman going to take care of you? You know? And as much as it is, women can be nice, but I... Sincerely, from a woman's point of view, you get your respect by trying your best. You don't have to tell the woman where you get, you got the money from. Tell her, I'll get that money. And find the money, pay her bride price, and go ahead with the marriage. It is best. So that's, that's my own contribution in that aspect so um do that and um, it's just it's just it's just to show that you value whatever you don't that doesn't cost you anything you don't give it any value david said i will not give unto god something that does not cost me anything mm -hmm. okay so you paying the father the family it's not even the father most times the fathers don't really take so much the family giving the family something to say thank you for keep for bearing this child keeping her Helping her to go, sending her to school and making her ready, teaching her how to cook, how to care for the home, making her ready for me. It's just a way of appreciating the family. It's a token of appreciation. So if it doesn't cost you anything, then you just, the woman will not seem like anything to you. But when it costs you something, it costs you something to get her. Ah, you value her. You value her. You, you definitely value her. That's why it's very important. Um, for you to try to get the money, get it from your brothers, then get it from your parents, get it from your friends, get it from your cooperative, loan it, however you, you're you going to do it, wait until you are ready to pay the bride price. That's, that, that's it for me. Thank you very much. And if you have any other thing to add, please do so in the comments below. Um, yes. And put your comments. It's, it can, we're still open for discussion. Put your comment down there below and like it, share it, let people know about this. Let's see the comments and let's see if we can have a, a, a part two of this topic. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking out with us here. If you have stayed here to the end of this video, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, subscribe, join the family. Yeah. Join the family. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much for this time. And I pray God will help each, each and every one of us and that will heed to this advice and God will provide for you. Amen. Thank you. May God give us an answer of peace to all of us that are still praying to know God's will. God bless you.